now the question is, uh, and let's talk just uh, football for a moment. If you look at the players uh, that they have on their staff, all of them, uh, there has been an awful lot of uh, pretty average players bought for fortunes. I mean, fortunes. Rojo, for example, who's useless. He's Argentinian. He cost only 25 million four or five years ago. He's been, you know, I'm talking about fringe players, really. Um, Darmian, Lindelof, 31 million. Uh, you know, a player who really is part of the problem as a central defender. They have bought an awful lot of poor players. And of course, the big extravagant. Uh, 100 million euro purchase of Pogba fits into that Uh, is it a job that a serious man would even want at the moment John? Oh yeah definitely I mean definitely I mean that's the position it's in at the moment I mean if they weren't doing well then you wouldn't be looking for a new manager but it's still a dream job if it's done properly I mean I mean in Mourinho's case First of all, he had the money to spend. You go into a lot of clubs, he's Bournemouth and uh, Cardiff with these guys where it's difficult. They don't have the money to spend. Yeah. Uh, what happened to Manchester United? It wasn't spent wisely. But and, was he spending? You know, he, they have a chief executive, well, John, mm-hmm. uh, Ed Woodward. Yeah. He, he's a marketing yeah. man. Uh, I think he bought uh, Pogba personally. Uh, and I don't think that he had, that Mourinho had control, John. And that was a problem well, that, that, for the people who succeeded Busby as well, in a way, because Busby was still there in another capacity. Yeah, yeah well, I'm surprised that Mourinho aiming taking the job and going with the job if he didn't have the yeah. power to do it. Because he's a, he's a football man. And if you go to the other clubs, to be fair to Chelsea and that, there was players... Uh, 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 put on him that he didn't want and he left like he's been a great manager there's no doubt great manager well let me ask you a question uh, in, 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 about that John uh, yeah there's a sense and I subscribe to this that he's yesterday's man the kind of football he played even was is, is maybe yesterday's football the new game now uh, as played by Manchester City and played by uh, Liverpool is much more offensive uh, it's much more about the brilliance of forwards, uh, as we can see again with uh, those two clubs. Even with Pochettino, it's a it's a different game. Now, you, you probably disagree. But tell me why you disagree. Well, I, I don't think football, I mean, uh ultimately ever changes. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 it's a basic thing in football from the time you were a kid and I was a kid playing in the street. When you, and this is my take on it. If you haven't got the ball, everybody's obliged to get the ball back. And when you have it, everybody's obliged to use it as, as, as constructively as they possibly can. Yeah. Now, you get different formations. You've got players play, playing out from the back. I don't think that has changed from Mourinho's point of view. I think his principles on the game were very, very good. I think he's lost his way at Old Trafford, the Pogba situation, maybe not in charge of the transfers where he, where he, where he should be. We don't know that, but there's certainly a possibility of, of it. But I think his principle of playing at Chelsea... Uh, was when you haven't got the ball, you win it back. And everybody works hard. I think what's killed him at Old Trafford, uh, mainly the Pogba situation, because he is totally against all the things that Mourinho believes in. And he had to live with him or make the best of it. And he couldn't. You can't make the best of Pogba, Eamon. And other players that were bought there before, and he's he's just left his judgment and defenders and the various things that he's bought, uh, where he spent a lot of money, have been been poor. That's bad judgment, Eamon. You know, if you get the right players in, uh, for example, if you get uh, Van Dyke, for example, coming from 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 Southampton, has made a huge difference uh, to Liverpool, as we all everybody would agree. Yes, but he's he would be regarded as an old-fashioned centre half. Yep. you know, he's a good player. He's good on the ball. Uh, John Terry, uh, you know, all the players that uh, uh, Mourinho had, you're only as good as the players you have. And ninety percent of the job when you come into a new club like Manchester United, where Mourinho or anybody else, I mean, is getting the right players in. Yep. 
he never got the right players in. No. There were bad players in before he came there and he never got the right players in. So I don't actually believe in the style or it's old fashioned or new fashioned or whatever it might be. I think football is football. Obviously there are different attitudes now playing out from the back. But playing out from the back game in my opinion 50% of the time is wrong. Yeah, me too. But just to uh, you know, try, just to try yeah. and advance that argument a little bit, John. Okay. Uh, I, I, this is what I see. If you look at the great sides of recent years in Europe... Real Madrid, of course, with their three Champions League. Barcelona, uh, also. Um, Manchester City, now, who are blazing a different kind of trail. Uh, Klopp, uh, both uh, for his time at Dortmund um, and also uh, for his time at Liverpool. There is a more offensive vibe. It isn't really... uh, If I look at Mourinho's great teams, Inter Milan... Miserly, give nothing away, win 1 0. Week after week, and in the Champions League, the same. They went to the new camp, they put 11 behind, 10 behind the ball, got their result in the quarterfinal, I think it was. They beat Barcelona, went on to win the Champions League. If you look at his Chelsea teams, John Terry, Frank Lampard, yes, in midfield, scoring goals, but Drogba up front, uh, play it long when you have to make absolute maximum you can from set pieces in other words the game now I think is more fluid it's more uh, there's 4-3-3 there's the interchange of attackers if you look at say City um, or look at Chelsea even Hazard playing you know as the out and out front player I mean they uh, so I do think yeah, but is that right though Eamon is that no good? it's not no, I don't. I don't you know, no, well, you know, to get, uh, everything, everything changes. Everything changes in football. But it's, uh, so if you go back to his time at, at, at uh, Chelsea, yeah, they used to concede less goals than anybody else. But yeah. I mean, if you look at how many goals they scored, not they many. Scored, they were up there with the top. The top. Mm. They didn't score many. They Chelsea. Were, I remember week after week at the Bridge, the home games in particularly, they they kept it tight. It was tight, tight, tight. I can remember so many times when John Terry came up and scored a winner for a corner late in the game. Yeah, well, of course. That's the way they played, yeah, John. Yeah, he didn't. Of course he did. That's what he's supposed to do. I mean, it was, you know, that's what, that's what John Terry was good at. But if you look at the way in which they played, I never had any, any objection to, to, uh, to um, Chelsea playing the way they played. I think his philosophy was good. And he was known as... A, it, well, I, I, my opinion is he was known as a, a defensive manager because when people attack Chelsea... They couldn't score, yep. so they were defending for longer periods than anybody else. Mm. Whereas with Arsenal, for example, under in the later years of, of Wenger, every time they attacked, they scored. Yeah. The teams attacked, they scored. So, so therefore, they weren't defending as long as Chelsea were defending, but right. they should have been. Yeah. So I think his philosophy on the game is good. I don't think he had the players at Old Trafford. A lot of it, that's his own fault for not getting the right players in. But I don't think I don't think there's an old fashioned uh, right. situation in football. Okay. And if it's done properly, I mean it's done there are different situations where you're playing out from the back now more so than ever before and you'll get different trends all the time. I mean, right. but if you look at his team as you said with Inter Milan he probably didn't have any great players, Eamon. That was good coaching and good management yeah. that they had to defend and that's what they were going to do. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but when he had the players... Yeah, yeah sorry. No, that's, no, you that's... Have to, the manager can only do what he has to do with the players at his, at his, at his disposal. Where he slipped up at Old Trafford with the amount of money that he, spe- he got in and the Pogba situation, Eamon, the money wasn't well spent. He didn't get good players in. Yep. I think his philosophy is, 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 is good because he's always said when you haven't got the ball, you can work hard to get back, which he did at Chelsea, but he had the good players there. Yep. He had John Terry and he had very various other players at, at Chelsea. He doesn't have those players. Yeah. Um, at Old Trafford and of course there are different ways like Guardiola's attitude to the game is different to Klopp's attitude to the game there isn't any one way but the basic principle if you look at Klopp at, uh, at, at Liverpool I mean, he insists on all the players when they haven't got the ball to yes. get back you remember Ben Tackey when he had Ben Tackey yes. at, at, yeah. at, at, couldn't yeah. stand him no couldn't stand him um, because the there's an honesty about what what he does. I don't agree with everything he does, like like all, all managers. But they work and work and work and work, and that's what uh, uh, Guardiola. Uh, sorry, that's what um, Mourinho always had in his teams. What he had, I mean, Pogba must have driven him totally mad. Yeah, um, where he was against all these principles of getting back and winning the ball and playing in that. And and uh, like he, he he was he, he just couldn't he wasn't manageable if that's the right word for Pogba. Yeah. So that was the I think that was his main thing. But all the other players that he had, Damon, 
Yeah. None of the players that he brought in, the defenders particularly, weren't up to scratch. No, they just weren't. Just up to scratch. So that's why he's been sacked. He's, the results have been bad if you buy the bad players in. Manchester United, now they need a manager that can come in. Uh, it's going to be difficult in this season. Who knows his stuff? I think he'd be given the money to spend, but it has to be well spent. If yeah. it's not well spent, then they're, 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 you're ultimately going to fail. One of the and then ar- he has failed. 